Uh, we also are commissioning our new associate pastor, Jeevan, uh, this morning. So we are going to take some time to pray for him. If you've been with us for a while, you know we prayed for a long time for an associate pastor as a church, and we are so thrilled with what God did and who he brought to our church. And so it's an honor to pray with him, and commissioning is a very specific thing that we love to do at Caribou Road, where we get to lay hands on them and we get to pray for them, commissioning them into the role that God has called them to do in this church. And so we're going to take some time as a church to pray for Jeevan, and I'm going to invite him and his wife up now. Uh, Jeevan and Eva, can you come on up? You can give them a hand as they come on up. <clears throat> and I know Jeevan has been working hard already. How many of you have like met him and his wife face to face already? So many, so many, yeah. And some of you are even clapping, so it was a good interaction. So that's good. The other was just sheepishly raised their hand, so I don't know what you did to them. But um, it's an honor to have Jeevan and Eva with us. I'm going to invite our elders to come on up to the front. We're going to pray together in just a moment. Jeevan, as I was praying for you uh, the last few days, preparing for this moment, uh, God gave me very quickly, actually, a picture. And it was a picture that we were building a deck, something that I have never done in my life, and pray to God I will never do. And, uh, but as we were building, you were coming along, and it wasn't that you were lagging behind, but you were coming along beside, and you would check the posts that were concreted into the ground, and you would kind of shake them, and you'd say, yeah, this one's good, or this one needs some work, or this one is solid here. And what you were doing is you were shaking them to uh, make sure that they had been established firmly in their place. And then the Lord brought to mind uh, Psalm chapter 127. It's a verse that many of you guys would be familiar with. It says, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late toiling for food to eat. For the Lord grants sleep to those he loves. And God was just reminding me that um, he's going to use you in this season, maybe not for things of novelty, but for things of longevity. And he's going to use you to establish things that will live far beyond you and your ministry. And so we're so thrilled to have you here. And as an eldership, we would love to pray for you and your wife. And church, could you stretch out your hands and, as we pray for them? So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you are doing at Caribou Road, and we thank you for our, the answered prayer that you brought Jeevan and Eva into our midst. Thank you for the way that you have already prepared them and that you've already equipped them for every task at hand, even the word that we heard this morning, God, that you have prepared things in advance for them to do for your kingdom. Thank you for the partnerships and the relationships that you will build into their life, God. Thank you for the fruit that will come into fruition because of their ministry. And God, I thank you for the longevity that the things at Caribou Road will have because of the hands, uh, because of their hands at work on them. God, thank you for the eye that he has to see people, and I pray that you would increase him, give him more insight and more understanding and more knowledge into the things that are unseen. God, I pray that you would give him increased anointing upon every interaction that he has with each person in our church, God. Thank you for the structures that he will build and the ministries that he will hold up, God. I pray that they would be fruitful in the name of Jesus. And I pray for Eva as well as she partners with her husband in this season, God. Would you build unity between them, God? Would you give them one heart and one mind for your kingdom's sake and fresh vision, God, that they would see things they've never seen before. And God, we pray for anointing for the task at hand, God, that when you give them a vision, you will give them every resource they need to fulfill the vision that you've given them. And so we pray this in the awesome name of Jesus. Amen and amen. It's an honor. Thank you, guys. So uh, please, if you haven't had a uh, conversation with Jeevan and Eva, you are missing out. Uh, 